Hey everybody, welcome to VHS Bandits. This week we talk about our personal top five favorite songs from movies we have on VHS. Let's pop in the tape and then the CD. Cassette. Cassette. Thanks. <laughs> oh, party hat. Boom, boom. The whole go bang bang here. Let us begin. I want you to keep an eye out. Hey guys, welcome again to VHS Bandits. I'm back. Kevbot here. Hey, Kevbot here. All right. Yeah. With me, as always, well, here, as always, is... Uh, when do you guys go first? Dane Train, go first. <laughs> uh, Dane, uh, Dane Train, T-Man, go second. I'm T-Man. <laughs> and he goes second. And I go second. <laughs> Kevbot's been Kev busy Bot wrestling. Third. Yeah, and I'm, I'm third. So, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Hey! Today's, hey, today's a different episode. Whoa, a little bit. Trying something new. This is what this is an idea that I had for a while that I wanted to do. I thought it would be kind of fun, um, mostly because we've done a couple episodes with Mike from Video Rangers podcast where we talked about like some of our favorite sex comedies and um, like our top movies that we would want to get from Santa Claus and stuff. And I thought doing like a little top episode, I thought would be kind of fun. And I love movie music a lot, and I thought that uh, this would be a really cool idea where I thought was like, okay, like if you were on a desert island and you can only take like five movies with you based off of your favorite song from each, what would they be? So that's kind of what I was thinking here, you know? Oh, this is a desert island situation. I didn't know that. Oh, well, what do you think it was? (laughs) I thought it was just a top five list. I oh, didn't right, know well, we were getting a shun to Savage Beach. Well, it's a top I know. five I would have, as I good as been more Savage picky Beach. If, if anything. Yeah, well, then I'm going to have to watch out for samurais looking to take my gold. Samurai zombie guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a ride there by uh, Clint Howard on his creepy boat. <laughs> he, well, because, <laughs> because he wants to take it to the... I, I Isla del Morte. Why? Yeah. It, Why do they it, always pick top five? That's, that's for English. Unless you don't know speak as English. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget your ice cream. <laughs> oh, by the way, I was just listening recently to the Funbox Monster Podcast hosted by um, uh, Matt VHS Awkward Fiend um, and his buddy. <laughs> that is not it, but close well, yeah, <laughs> and his buddy, uh, his buddy from Coast City Comics up in up in Maine, and they were just talking about Clint Howard on one of their shows, and they're going like, eh, 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 Clint Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like fucking dying laughing. The legacy of Clint Howard. Oh man, I was like <laughs> painting a wall while listening to that, and I almost got paint on my new floors because I was like, whoa, cracking up, cracking whoa. up listening to them talking about Clint Howard. So humble brag, Dane's house yeah. has floors, <laughs> weird flex, but da. okay, hardwood floors. Ooh, look at me. I've got floors. Whoa. I don't and walk walls. on gravel when I come home. Look at me. Hey, hey, I'm looking at you on the other side of the Skype fence over here, and I see some nice carpeting on that floor. Oh, it is side. not nice. It it's is not nice not carpeting? Nice. He has made no, sure No, there's it is probably nice blood carpeting. stain. Do you know how many people have lived in this apartment before I have? My Do you know how many God. people he has sacrificed in that apartment? Seriously, dude. <laughs> That's a lot of sacrifices. <laughs> from the, from the Sacrifice. uh, chainsaw Sacrifice. hooker cult. Yeah, that's right. The Hollywood, Texas. I mean, wait. <laughs> I do that every the time. Hollywood chainsaw Even hooker last episode, cult? I called it Texas Chainsaw Hookers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers are, you know, there's they there's a lot. Of do they have dead keys to your apartment here. or something? Know. Yeah, probably. Weird. They just installed security cameras last week. Oh, did you put it in? So who knows what was happening Doorbell. before then? Anyway. All right. This isn't the shitty let's... apartment podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the VHS Bandits. So let's get into it, guys. Who wants to start? 
You start because oh, you, you uh, well, yeah, well, you're the conductor of this let, crazy train. This train. Let me ask this: Should we go no. around and each do one, or oh, should okay. we each do our so, top five? Well, here, here's my no. Thought. We should do one. Do yeah, go well, in order: five yeah, yeah. to one, each going. Yeah. So my thought, at my thought one was, after another. is is we'll say his his. All right, we'll, we'll sit down. This is something rules. that we should have discussed before we hit record. <laughs> so. so. Uh, that's about okay. This? People are involved in the process now. <laughs> That's right. They Vote know now. that they're sacrificed on the show. Email us at VHS at gmail.com and tell us how you want us to do the show. <laughs> so, uh, my thought was we'll say what song we're going to do. And probably what I'll do is like actually like play like 30 seconds of the song. And then. Nice. I mean, like, you know, later, like when I edit it. And. Um, and, right then, now. and then if you want and then if you want to say uh like where in the movie the song played you know it could be the opening credits end credits somewhere during the middle when some guys like listen to a radio while driving in the car it doesn't matter and then you talk about what the significance of that song is to you any memories of it anything special about it that kind of stuff Sound sounds good? good cool cool yeah all right. Those are the rules, audience. We planned this out way ahead of time, but now that the audience is caught up, let's uh, let's go for the top f- 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 five Dane train. <laughs> right. I wish, I wish now, I put numbers to these. Oh, uh, well, well, figure it out while Dane's talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't listen to what I'm about to say. Just, <laughs> just you get out your piece of paper and a pen, and you write it down. All right, so. Okay, actually, you know what, dude? I actually didn't number mine either. Mine aren't in any serious particular order. Um, mine are. All right. Well, then, then I'm, someone's I'm just gonna, organized. I'm just gonna put mine in in like whatever from top to bottom here. That so so That's mine. Do, 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 do. Number five is gonna be Darker Side of the Night, which was in uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Jason takes Manhattan. It's like this. We live in claustrophobia, a land of steel and concrete, trapped by dark waters. There is no escape, nor do we want it. We've come to thrive on it, and each other. You can't get the adrenaline pumping without the terror, good people. I love this town. So this song is at the very beginning of the movie during the opening credits. Um, and there's a part at the beginning. This, this is, this is you know, when Jason goes to New York for like two minutes at the end of the movie. 
And um, the opening is like this montage of like the dirty streets of New York City in the late 80s. And um, there's, I, they don't even tell you who this guy is. There's just this, uh, uh, there's like a voiceover of this guy who's like, we live in a world of steel and concrete. And we thrive on the terror of it. God, I love this town. And I don't know if he's like a radio DJ or what. They don't tell you. He never comes back. There's just this weird little monologue at the beginning of the movie. And while there's like shots of like the dirty subway and these back alleys and like mice, rats running around and uh, people going down, going down the streets and stuff like that. And this song like plays in the background. And it's again, it's another one of these kind of ballady kind of songs that has just like a bunch of words that don't really make any sense and stuff. <laughs> and um, it's like uh, some of the lyrics are like, you know, there's no way you can fight, so you have to survive on the darker side and stuff like that. And um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm like, I so actually so funny enough. I've actually never seen any of the Friday, th- any of the Friday the Thirteenth movies until um, maybe like six months ago give or take yikes I, uh, wow I had, oh that's yeah i remember you telling me that yeah, yeah i uh so i had recently acquired like all the tapes i never seen any of them so i would just watch them all in order and i'm not gonna lie like i mean like they're okay I'm jason not, takes manhattan is your favorite one i'm gonna say no jason x is my favorite one <laughs> Oh, uh, that's one I haven't seen, believe it or not. Oh that's the only God, one I really? haven't seen. You haven't seen Jason that one? X that's, is that's the most surprising, phenomenal. actually. It's it is so very good. It surprises I mean, even me. I mean, if you like Leprechaun in space, oh, yeah, which you're going to love Jason, Jason X. Jason X. It's hands down my favorite <laughs> in the series. But yeah. my second favorite would probably have to be Takes Manhattan. And a really? lot of it is That's just like I, everyone's worst. I know. It's I, surprising. I, I'm, because I like that's it a lot. My, just Next to different. Jason, that's the second worst one in my opinion. I think Jason Goes to Hell is like, you know, come on. Uh, <laughs> that was all right. Then, <laughs> but I think the best one is uh, Jason Lives. Oh, Jason Lives is wicked good. Yeah. Um, okay, you know, I will agree that. Not definitely... to change your mind, but I'm just yeah. saying. Jason Goes that to Hell is surprising to hear worst. number eight as number two. If that you Take know number I mean. two, <laughs> but uh, but I mean like I there's something about the this opening credit song now obviously back in the day, um during you know the 80s and the VHS era there were a lot of movies that encompassed this sort of like grimy New York City kind of feel yeah you know what I mean like like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, street trash, you know, it's a bunch of movies that kind of have this Chud. like Judd, yeah, this kind of have this like this dirty, dingy thing, like New York City kind of a feel. Yeah. And when I hear this song, like sometimes I'll be at work or whatever, and I put the song on in the background, and like I don't know, I mean, like I like the song just as it is in general, but it gives me that feel of that kind of like you know New York City street in the eighties. Kind sure. of a feel to it, you know what I mean? Or like a gotcha. yeah, I could, I could hear this song like in this movie. If this song was in, I could have this song well could have been in like the like the opening credits to like a Buddy Cop movie. Uh, Would think, you say this is the Dream Warriors of the Friday franchise? Oh man, hands down, absolutely. Because I can't think of an equivalent. That song almost came up on my list i know I, feel, I was gonna i was thinking of that one too but i tried to pick songs that like had a big impact like whenever the first time i watched it or yeah. like just songs that stuck with me and not so much just like a rad song from a rad movie yeah yeah i totally agree um as you're gonna find out my list is kind of diversified where like not everyone is like from one genre i try to pick um some different genres and you know some songs that give me like different feelings and stuff, yeah. and um, and Make yeah, like tingle songs in like all the right places. Me. Yeah, yeah. So I, I not yeah not just a song that's like cool, but like songs that like I Ice like cold. like I could be like raking leaves out in my yard and uh, somehow the song just is in repeat in the back <laughs> of my head like as I'm raking leaves. You know what I mean? I, on a nice fall fall. October day, you know what I mean. That's the criteria. Songs you want to rake leaves to. Songs to, to rake. Kevba, to. what's the what's the number five song? Kevba wants to rake leaves to. <laughs> number five is the theme from Doctor Detroit. Whoa.
Yeah. Uh, by Devo, uh, which I thought was awesome. And it was a very Devo song. <laughs> it didn't even have a huge impact on the movie um, because it was played in the It was the, the best beginning. part of the movie. What's that? It was the best part of the movie. That's no, not true. My that is not. Yeah. <laughs> no. The whole movie's the whole best movie's part gold. of the movie. gold. Yeah. Yikes. Um, yeah, it was a good movie. It was a great, great theme song. And, uh, yeah, the the music video is funny, too. Oh, I, the music uh, video is awesome. It's yeah. all kooky and weird, just like Devo. Right. Oh, I and, haven't and seen the music you know, video. Try but... and splice in scenes from the movie and Dan Aykroyd's in it and he's in front of green screens and weird things. They're I don't in know. like a computer lab or something yeah. and there's like these twin Chinese chicks and yeah, they're putting Dan Aykroyd's face on Devo's character, Devo's body faces. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's good. It's fun. I like it. It's very 80s. Yeah. I don't have as much to say about it as uh, <laughs> as Dean did for for his pick. Would you rake leaves on a fall day while listening to Doctor Detroit from Devo? Yeah, I think I I think I would. It's definitely something I'd have you know in my uh, iTunes library. Ah, there you if go. If it came up on shuffle, I wouldn't skip it. <laughs> All right. All right, T-Man, T-Man. coming up to you with your number no, 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 five. No, no. Number five with our v, the VHS band. It's Songs to rake leaves to order now and get the bonus CD. <laughs> now on QVC now for twenty five twenty five plus shipping and handling. <laughs> no CODs. Um, <clears throat> my number five is "This Is the Life" by Weird Al, and it is from the movie Johnny Dangerously. Cars when I'm in the mood I hire somebody to chew my food I'm an up and three mobile dude This is a life They say that money corrupts you But I can't really tell I got the whole world at my feet And I think it's pretty swell I got women lined up outside my door They've been waiting there since the week before Who could ask for more? This is a life I saw that movie once. 
Yeah, it's a what? great movie. Funny enough, well, it is a great I movie. think it's a I've great movie. never seen it. I've always what? wanted to see. It. It's like what? it's like my uncle's favorite movie. Dude, he always talks it's about like it. a super slapstick. Like, uh, uh, it's, you know, he's like plays a gangster, and uh, it's, it's kind of like a Michael Keaton comedy. Yeah, yeah, great yeah. Michael Keaton, sticky eighties Michael Keaton comedy. Uh, awesome. So. It's Weird Al, and he does the theme song for this movie. It's during the opening credits, and I saw this movie on uh, Comedy Central for the first time, and I am a huge Weird Al fan. Bad Hair Day (laughs) was my first album. Uh, He's got a Weird Al tattoo on his butt. I have a Weird Al tattoo on both cheeks. (laughs) One says Weird, one says Al... And uh, his uh, he has a monocle the in the middle. And, if you can figure uh, that oh, one you have a, you have yeah, a Grundle tattoo. I have a Grundle tattoo, his, and uh, his mustache his is made of pubic hairs. <laughs> do, you, do you have a you have your tattoo of his accordion, accordion on your, so uh, can play on your ball sack? My, so you can stretch on it. My... <laughs> <laughs> Two it's on my dick. So when my dick gets Direct. <laughs> then the accordion stretches out and it plays different songs. Anyway, enough right. about my penis. This is the lie. So yeah. I've heard that song a million times, but I yeah. I had no idea that it was in that movie or had any. Oh do with yeah, that movie. funny. Yeah, enough. The, the music video for it is all you know the nineteen twenties gangster ish. I just saw it today too. for the first time after we saw each other's lists. Yeah, and I had I again I never it was like one of the very few Weird Al music videos I've never seen. And so what makes it so special to me is obviously love Weird Al, but the first time I saw this, like I was a huge fan of UHF, and then I see on Comedy Central like, oh my god, Weird Al is there's another movie playing, and Weird Al is in the beginning. And I was like, thought that Weird Al has another movie, and then I kept on watching and watching, like waiting for Weird Al to show up. But the movie's good on its own, and Weird Al does not. Uh, you know, he's not. It's not another. It's not UHF two, which is what I thought it was. Did you uh, did you think that with Spy Hard as well? Honorable I, mention, Spy Hard, the theme from Spy Hard. I didn't have the same experience with Spy Hard, so I can't say that I did. That's fair. Luckily, that's all Leslie Nielsen, so you get Leslie Nielsen. Prime Leslie Nielsen. Although, I would say Johnny Dangerously over Spy Hard. Call me crazy. That's that's fair. I'm not going to I'm not going to dispute you on it. They're both good movies. Now, yeah. Spy Hard or Spy Mate? Spy Mate. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen Spy Mate. We watched Spy Mate together, or did we watch? We watched some monkey crime movie together. What was it Monkey Trouble? <laughs> I have, I have not it seen a, a monkey, monkey movie with you guys. <laughs> Super I've been out of the loop for too long. I'm pretty I sure come you down and me from watched the mountains a monkey and movie. This is what happens. I miss all the monkey movies. <laughs> no, this was this was a while ago, even before the podcast. You and me oh. watched a monkey movie. I'm pretty sure it was Spy Mate or the 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 monkey that shagged me. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I honestly can't remember that far back anymore. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it slide this time. Uh, uh, Danger number number four. All right, <laughs> number, number four. four. All right, my number four is uh, this is the last horror entry that I have. This is the wow. theme song to Night of the Demons.
was scary. So I had to go back and re-listen to this after uh, it's so you good. put the yeah. your list together and sent it to us. Yeah, it is really good. Yeah, I totally uh, forgot about it. So I forgot. It, it was years and years and years ago. I think I had rented Night of the Demons from the video vault at one time years ago, the local video store. And the movie just blew me away. I thought it was awesome. And um, the as great as this movie is, I mean, it's like w- one of my favorite horror movies from the 80s. It's fucking outstanding. But the opening credit sequence alone with this song is absolute gold. Uh, yeah. you, you have like this like cartoon animation of like a haunted house and a graveyard and like ghosts and a guy hanging himself and all this spooky stuff. And it's just like this. This goofy like synthesizer song that's just like dent 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 the whole time, but it works so good. Anytime I hear of it, it makes me think of like the Halloween season, um, and like haunted houses and, and graveyards and stuff. And I could it's listen to this song best. literally on repeat a million times. There's no lyrics to it. It's just, uh, it's just awesome. I love it. And uh, mm-hmm. and you guys know how much like I love Halloween and and this like if if it's like. If it's like dead of summer and I have my itch to feel about Halloween, I put the song on and I think of Halloween. So there you go. Nice. Yeah, it definitely gives you that feeling. And it's like this is the perfect example for like if anyone is a new retro wave artist out there, <laughs> listen to this song because yeah. it. You know how new retro wave is kind of. You know, obviously it pulls from like these types of songs from the 80s, um, but it seems like, you know, it's a little more modern to an extent. Yeah. But like this is spot on to like, like this could be on a Cluster Buster album or something and oh, you would never hands down. tell the difference. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think, was it uh, uh, Richard Band did this? Uh, no, no, he didn't do, Who he didn't did do this song. No. Do you know um, who did? Uh, you know, I have to look it up. Um, I think it's like two guys who did this song. Um, uh, <laughs> well, that's okay. Look it up on IMDb. Uh, I'm going to have to Google this real quick. Um, IMDb. Oh, my goodness. Who did the opening so- Oh, uh, I thought it was Richard Band and someone else did I don't, the music for this I don't movie. think Richard Band did did this one dennis dennis michael tenney oh, dennis wait. michael tenney is that right did i get that I right know, dude i don't know you're the one well we're at probably it. getting Linaris all sorts records. of facts wrong now all right it, oh god i don't know anywho we don't know <laughs> my dennis michael tenney i think i think that's right i think that's who, think that's who did it yeah cool. dennis michael tenney that's who did it all right yep. <laughs> all not right. richard band although that's sort of coming up later on in the list, kind of, sort of. We'll get into Whoa. that. Whoa! But anywho, yeah, so the theme Spoilers. from Land of the Demons. Gotta, that, that song is uh, is classic 80s synth Halloween goodness at its best. Yeah, so, so my point was that it was, it was of the time, but also ahead of the time at the same oh, yeah. time. That, yeah, right, exactly. So, and real quick on the synthwave thing, I think uh, earlier on, like, eight ten years ago you got a lot more stuff that sounded like this and it's slowly evolving to sound more like modern poppy and I'm yeah really yeah a little digging bit it, you know but um yeah it's hard to find modern new new synthwave artists who are making stuff that sounds like this these days so anywho all right who's up next me you <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> Kevin, okay. what All is right. your uh, number four desert number island? Number four. Song uh, Sarek leaves by. Coming from <laughs> the immortal Tom Arnold. Oh, my God. Is I Am My Own Grandpa <laughs> from The Stupids. <laughs> many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as could be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her, and soon they two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. For my daughter was my mother, cause she was my father's wife. 
to complicate the matter even though it brought me joy i soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy my little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad and so became my uncle though it made me very sad for if he was my uncle then that also made him brother to the widow's grown-up daughter who of course was my stepmother father's wife then had a son who kept him on the run and he became my grandchild cause he was my daughter's son my wife is now my mother's mother and it makes me blue because although she is my wife she's my grandmother too if my wife is my grandmother then i am her grandchild and every time i think of it it nearly drives me wild this has got to be the strangest thing i ever saw as husband of my grandmother i am my own grandpa I'm my own grandpa. Everybody! I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but it really is so. Hey! I'm my own grandpa. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back after this break. So I get you, this song. You and Rake Lee's while listening to this? <laughs> Uh, I get this song stuck in my head so often. <laughs> you should see a psychiatrist. It's catchy. I'm not gonna lie. Now, do you it know is, the words by heart? I'm my own grandpa. I lo- yeah, I. This song is great. Do you want to sing it to uh, us right now? Yeah. Uh, I I don't know it that well. It's just that just the chorus gets stuck in my head. <laughs> I think it's, it's everybody. I my own grandpa. I think he, uh, goes, hey, yeah. he goes like when I was something younger, what somewhere around a twenty three, I met some really girl who who I had to watch pee and then <laughs> and then my and then my old man be. married yeah. her and I became her uncle. I my own grandpa. Something like that. <laughs> Basically. Not even close. Everybody no. in the audience is like waving their heads back and forth. In- yeah. In- insane. Uh yeah. well, it comes from an amazing movie. Yes. Let's just talk about that. The stupids, amazing. I was trying to. I was looking back at all of our, um, all of our episodes and trying to really pull from that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I had a hard time trying to really come up with some, uh, you know, a couple entries on the list. Um, but this one definitely stood out. We put it at the end of an episode, even. That's yeah, right. it's on the stupids episode. Yeah, of all things. Stupidly right. enough. Yeah. And so that one came to mind because it, like I said, it just gets stuck in my head all the time. So it should be on the list. I couldn't remember, you know, a whole lot else. I know that, uh, uh, was it trick or treat had a good song in it, but I can't tell you what it was. Um, yeah. Sammy Kerr. Yeah. yeah. That actually, that song also almost made my list. This song almost made my list. It was <laughs> yeah. honestly, it was like one of the first songs. Like Dane Train came to us with this idea, and I was like, "Oh, like that!" Immediately came to my head. <laughs> I was right, so happy exactly. That the song That's why it made yeah. my list. Because it was just like that. Yeah, that was one of the first. One of the first things. Yeah, it's very memorable. I don't know yeah, if I'd want to rake leaves to it. It would drive me insane hearing it more than like <laughs> Man, three times maybe, in a row. Maybe if you're driving with someone, you know, you're you're going to get some food or you're driving down to the casinos or whatever, and you're <laughs> just like, let's pop uh, this fun song on, and I mean, you have a good laugh, and then you gets awkwardly like quiet for about twenty trip. minutes. If I was raking to this, I think my neighbors would look at me weird. And- I'd be out there. <laughs> I'm my own grandpa, just raking leaves and like, what the fuck is going on? This has to be the weirdest thing that I have ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my uh, number four pick. All right, I'm yeah. my own yeah. grandpa about that. by Tom Arnold. <laughs> Topher, what's well, your number four man. pick? Number, number four. four. Number four. Number four songs to rake leaves to. All right, number four. This song, I don't know who uh, who wrote it or who performs it, but it is Cool Dude <laughs> from Berserker. Oh, I looked that up. <laughs> oh, Josh, please turn it down. Come on, Christy. Be real, will you? Hey, Larry, let's go, dude. Tell Yeah, you're the 
I'm gonna look it up right now. It's cool, like dude. the only thing Gotta on YouTube cool. that you could find yeah. from this movie. And I don't think like anybody's ever heard or seen of this movie. It's crazy. Yeah, like, right, nobody cool. ever talks about it on Instagram. Hey, if you know Actually, Berserker, the, the you credit, know that cool dude is the best part of the movie. It is. And it's like the very beginning the, of the movie. Uh, on the video on uh, YouTube, which only has 3,000 views, it says Berserker, cool dude. World of Ward Crap dot com and it's well, uh, nineteen eighty eight six time records. Yeah. Actually so, that's a great record company. Sexy I would love to work there. Time records. Sexy time records. What do you work uh, for? Sexy time records. <laughs> I'm an executive yeah. for sexy time records. You can trust me. Uh uh yeah. So I remember th- why this is on the list is because me and Dane watched this movie years and years ago, uh, and like we were like, "Oh, this movie's all right." And then this song comes on, and like we just bust out laughing. Like I don't, it was just so ridiculous. It was like it's like a parody of itself, you know, because this is a horror movie about where, like where in the movie does it come in? It's like in the very beginning of the movie. They're like, it's these like teenagers quote-unquote teenagers going to like on a camping trip or something yeah so it's like them driving to the destination and like getting their tents set up and shit it's like a montage of them like having fun on the camp before the berserker comes and kills them uh and yeah it was it's just so listen to the song do yourselves a favor the dude just yeah. like cranks up the radio in his ford bronco <laughs> you just you hear the, then the song goes off for like 10 minutes in the and movie if you too. watch like because i recently i watched that video on because that's the only way you can see it if you don't have the tape is that youtube video and if you watch it it's very like very Nightmare on Elm Street 2 vibes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I do know what you mean. Yeah. Even the girl's like, should I take my top off? Nope. <laughs> uh, so it's not a party hat situation. No party hats. I don't, hats. Boat I don't situation. think there were any party hats in the movie. <laughs> Probably not. Party hat um, free zone. But yeah, it is... A, it, it takes you out of left field with it's a fun song and it's absolutely ridiculous uh, so that is cool dude from the movie berserker <laughs> <laughs> oh boy am I up again yes yeah, you dude, are that's how it works. guacamole Three. all right guys here we go now you were just talking about summer camp time I got another one this is from a summertime movie. And I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite sex comedies of all time. What I would love Meatballs to do on our three. show, all three. Yeah, this is cause several. It's a couple of sex. Yeah, actually, yeah. This is probably my three top sex comedies. This is one of them. My other ones are Loose Screws, Hamburger the Motion Picture, and the theme song to Hard Bodies. <laughs> Hard oh, yeah. Bodies. Way the sun makes them play. Hot 
Hard Bodies is this awesome sex comedy about the guy who's the lead actor from <laughs> Killer Clowns from Outer Space. He's like this dude, this cool dude who hangs out <laughs> at a California beach and he helps these three old, ugly, rich bastards have sex with teenage girls at the beach. That's disgusting. Ooh. Yep. They rent a... Uh, they rent a do you do uh, that uh, at all? Uh, what? I said, T-Man, do you do that at all? You're no! California. What? I don't know. Oh, you see, this by a beach, you. probably you see, good enterprise. I, I, I think. I think. Team yeah, Man, I'm not really into human trafficking, Kev, but but thank you for the uh, <laughs> implication. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what you do on your non VHS Bandits time is your own thing. I'm not going to question it. I'm just curious. Well, the whole the whole thing that he does. <laughs> are you is, looking to are to you you're looking for the hookup? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I'm not not looking for the hookup. <laughs> There's a whole system in the movie. He 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 dialogues. Gonna have to watch this chicks. movie. That's what he calls it. You got to dialogue dialogues, chicks, and... which means you got to talk to him and persuade him, and then you got to give him the BBD, which is the bigger, better deal. And oh, then you get the chicks to your house. That's and... Not what I thought that stood for. No. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> so you know, uh... when uh, when you sent uh, your list earlier, and I was checking out a lot of the uh, videos. This was I was at work. This was the only one I did not listen to because I was like. <laughs> I don't want my work to see me Google searching <laughs> hard bodies. Oh, man. Um, yeah, they'll they'll look at your internet history and see like this this uh, bikini clad chick with. Uh, They're gonna see with, that with that hard wanted... bodies written on her tummy with uh, sunscreen. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, so I picked this song because it kind of personifies the feel of the movie uh, where. The song itself like has lyrics that are like, oh, you know, women with oil, with, with suntan oil in their hands caressing their places unknown, uh, you know. <laughs> so there's all kinds of, you know, all you know. It's like you know, uh, I'll show you a place that'll put a smile on your face, and it's all about going to the beach and checking out hard bodies, which are like you know, wicked hot chicks on the beach, and made of stone. Yeah, uh, yeah right, yeah. And uh, so this, like, anytime I hear the song, I think of, I like think of some. So like right now, it's it's the it's almost March, it's shitty outside, the weather sucks, and when I want to think of like a warm, sunny summer day down the beach, I listen to this song, and uh, it makes me makes me feel a little bit warmer thinking about all those all those bikini clad 
babes high down the butts. beach. You know, the, and the high butts and the and the long butts. A uh, long butt. Sorry. Yeah, a nice a nice day at the beach on <laughs> a long, long butt butts, weekend. Whatever. High and long. Oh high yeah. High and long. Just the way Dane likes him. Yep. And then he With gives the him the BBD. BBD. <laughs> <laughs> Dialogue and a BBD. Yeah. He gives oh him the, man. Uh, the yeah. BDD. I, we gotta we gotta watch that show for the. the we, we gotta watch dookies. that movie for the show. Sometime. The big Dane. <laughs> so uh, D. So uh, yeah, it's the theme song to Hard Bodies. It's great. Awesome. Awesome sleazy, eighties track. <laughs> uh, nice. It's good stuff. If you ever want to have, want ever want to think of a nice summer day while you're raking leaves. This is the one to put on your playlist. Wow. On your in your in your Sony Walkman. Nice. All right. Kevbot, your turn for your My number turn. three. Number three. Oh, I am going with the theme from the movie No Holds Barred. Good by Jim choice. Johnson. Was it from the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart? It was not. It was by a or Rick Springfield for the WWF slash WWE, Jim Johnson. Uh-huh. Uh, cheap plug. If you guys have not heard that I am also part of another podcast called Rassle Flicks. 
definitely check that out. Our first episode was No Holds Barred, which was a classic, and it has a classic theme to it. And this song plays at the end of the episode, too. It does, yeah. Yep. Oh, my God, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It's fantastic. I don't have anything else to say. It's really good. <laughs> you know what uh, I like what about stu- what made it stand out for you? Just the fact that you listened to it last week. Uh, yeah, and it's um, an amazing. That's song. It, I mean, the whole movie is pretty great. And then you get to the credits, and you're just like bumping song. All right, I like it. Um, you yeah. know what? I, this it's song. No holds barred. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about this song is it's. It's so. There's another song it on my list. Doesn't hold any bars. Like, there's, there's like these like '80s ballads that are like this. Like like if you like you guys seen the movie. You guys know the movie Steel Justice, the theme yeah. song from Steel Justice. All these songs that are like you know, only the will to survive. You know, and they all have like these you know triumphant like in, yeah type lyrics. You know, like this is that that type of song is just like that. They it's like uh, you're on the treadmill and you just gotta keep on going. You know, that's right. <laughs> That kind you're of raking those leaves. Raking those leaves. Oh my god! Pile. I got one pile rake left. Rake those leaves. And then you give the leaves the pile driver. <laughs> Put the leaves in the brown paper bag. The leaf pile. And then leave them for the compost truck. <laughs> Put them in yeah. the in the paper spags bags. I'ma put you in a paper bag and then compost <laughs> you the appropriate way. <laughs> But you don't put sticks in the bags because they won't take them. <laughs> Worcester, you can put sticks in the bags. Oh, Mr. Fancy Worcester guy. Hey, just letting you know, all you Worcesterites, put the sticks in the bags. I'm gonna, I'm gonna as long as they don't go there, sticks in the bags. Oh, you can put that, sticks in the bags. That's true. You can yeah. always do that. Just, you, you, they can't get wet. Yeah, they don't want the wet, wet ones. Yeah, yeah. don't put them in the BDD. Yeah, that's Whoa. Right. The big Whoa. wet bag. The BWB, the, the big bags, wet bags. bags. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So that's my <laughs> number three pick is No Holds Barred theme. Because you mean number four? No, Wait. this is number three. That was number three. Never mind. Yes. So, Team Man, what is your number three? I can't count. Oh, my God. My number three is... N- n- number three. Is from one of my favorite bands of all time. It is from the movie Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Can you guys guess what it is? Well, I already saw your list. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's true. You did see the list. It is a Faith No More song. (laughs) It is a Faith No More song. Kevbot, do you want to guess which Faith No More song this is for the Uh, win? 200 points. Yeah, I do. It's... uh... Uh, uh, the Off the top crime. of your head That is right Ding 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 yeah. Faith No More is the perfect crime From Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey
Good, yes. good pick. Thank you. Thank you, I, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please. Uh, uh, so yeah, another thing about this, uh, obviously I fucking love Faith No More. Uh, and so wh- when I first watched this, you know, this was before, like this is a, this song wasn't on one of their albums or anything, like maybe on a compilation album later or something like that. Um, but... So when I first saw this, I heard, I heard this music. I was like, "That's pretty cool." And then I hear Mike Patton's voice. I'm like, "Is that Mike Patton?" And then I'm like, bruh, bruh, bruh. "Is this is this Faith No More playing?" And I'm like, "Whoa, a new Faith No More song I've never heard." Even like, because they're broken up at this time, so I've heard everything that Faith No More has done, all the Chuck Mosley stuff, even. And uh, so it was just like, rarely do you ever get a brand new song from a band that you thought you have heard everything to. So, I mean, I don't know how old I was, but it was just, it it was just one of those moments that you, you can't, yeah, I can't describe it. It was a, it was like indescribable, indescribable, almost, almost almost indescribable, if you will. (laughs) So at what, at what point in the movie does this play? They're this. I think they're already dead. I uh, they're like climbing up a mountain. Uh, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I think, I think it so, was. Yeah. I think it was during the part when they're all in their van and the evil robot them. Yeah, were driving right, them they, to the desert. Is that right? Yeah, they just oh, get murdered or they're just going to get murdered yeah, yeah, by gotcha. the evil <laughs> versions of themselves. Yeah, I was trying to trying to place it in my mind. And I know it's not beginning or end of the movie. Yeah, and then later on, the guitarist of Faith No More has a cameo. Yes, in the uh, history class. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, Beethoven and then uh, the guitarist Jim, guy. Jim Martin, I think is is his name. I think so. Uh, he comes out of the phone booth to teach history, and then the bad guys blow up the school. And they... Station. Station! And the guy uh, calls yeah. him a shithead. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, then, well, I think the very first time I watched Bogus Journey was on like TBS and they re ADR'd it. And I think he goes, Oh, what a beanhead. <laughs> <laughs> this was, I gotta uh, say, I one think... of the, sorry, go yeah. ahead. No, no, you go for it. This was one of those movies I used to watch, uh, when I go over to my dad's house and he, I think he took it from Blockbuster. Like he never <laughs> brought it back. Yeah. Uh, we just always had it. We would watch it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I Bill and Ted movies movie. are great. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. been a while since I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think honestly, my my humble opinion, I think Bogus Journey is better than Excellent Adventure. I don't know. It's Ooh. one of those sequels that I think is better than the original. It's probably a controversial. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
take, but hey, I'm standing by it. That's all right. It's, it's got me, faith it's, in it's, it's okay. one of those sequels where the first movie was made in the 80s and feels really 80s, and the sequel has a really early 90s vibe where yeah. like, they feel very different decade-ish. Does that make sense? Oh, they yeah. totally are, yeah. yeah. So, But the nice thing about those two movies is they don't try to kind of redo the same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's totally different. Also, honorable mention to... Uh, God gave rock and roll to you at the end credits. I get that song stuck Ooh, yeah. in my head a lot when I'm raking leaves. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one by Kiss. <laughs> yeah. Good song. Dane. Oh. Back to you. All right. Number, Number two. two. All right. The Dookie Choice. The Dookie Choice. <laughs> the choice you make when you're taking a Dookie of which song you're going to play. I think of this song every time I take a Dookie. <laughs> every, oh, every time. That's a lot. <laughs> every time. Sp- Every time, <laughs> every time you make yeah, a get it ghost. out. Every time, squeeze, every squeeze, time that I'm in out. the back of a car and I'm waiting, and then a when guy gets in to hijack my and car, and I go, pushing. "Hey, Mister, I gotta take a dookie," and he kicks me out. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that from? That's from Bushwhacked. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. His spider <laughs> was trying to get into his car yeah, and the kid in the back yeah, of the yeah, baby yeah. seat. Hey, Mister, I gotta take a dookie. <laughs> oh. I got a I got a great callback also to No Holds Barred is the infamous What's that smell scene? What's that smell? Dookie. 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 <laughs> Zeus Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, next time I take a, a huge huge crap, I'm gonna go, oh man, guys, I took a Zeus, Zeus. Dookie. <laughs> it's gonna be the new, new term Zeus, Zeus Dookie. Zeus Dookie. <laughs> Zeus, Zeus, Dookie. <laughs> oh man! All right, all right so all right, what's your Zeus Dookie? My my all right, my Zeus Dookie is uh, from a cheese ball Terminator esque ripoff from Ooh. Charles Band pre Full Moon from back when Full Moon was originally called Empire Pictures. I'm talking about 1985's. Trancers. Trancer. This is the theme. This is the official theme to Trancers. Uh, I don't think Charles Band's brother did this song. I think two other guys composed this song. It's, a, it's another synth track, and it's only like a minute and a half long, give or take. And it, 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 like I think it was 
only in the first three movies, I think, which were technically the only good ones. There's five of them. No, actually, there's six of them. The last three are really shitty, but the first three are okay. But in the first three, during the opening credits, this song plays. And the first movie's definitely the best one. Have you guys ever seen the Transfer movies or any of them? No, I Not haven't. Not yet, no. Um, you'll probably think they're really shitty. And don't, don't get me wrong, they, they're, they're really shitty. But <laughs> I really like the first movie. The first movie's really well, it's still shitty, but I like it. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I like plenty of shitty yeah. movies. I mean, so. I have a yeah. I, obviously, I, I have a soft spot for like Full Moon, and Charles Band crap, but um, specifically like the the earlier stuff, like um, Robot Jocks and that kind of stuff. But um, uh, so the Trancer theme, it there really isn't much to it. It's kind of like this soft, atmospheric tune and um the movie is about this cop from the future who goes back in time to stop a criminal who also went back in time and he like takes over people's minds and makes them like do his bidding he trances them if that makes Ooh. sense ah. to like do their bidding so basically they they get kind of like that. pale that's and, all you had to say yeah uh so this though um the lead the lead actor Tim Thomerson he's like one of my favorite actors he's like this like badass guy with slick hair and um he's just he's just awesome in the movie and uh, I I love the movie and the, that theme like it has this real kind of I don't know like I like the opening uh, like like a lot of Charles Band movies like they're really low budget so most of the like the majority of the movie takes place in 1985 like when they go back to the past whereas the future scenes is only for like the first couple of minutes in the movie and um but the song to me has this real kind of like futuristic like cyberpunky kind of a sound to it and um I don't know what it is, but like it's a uh, it's a cool cool track. I think about it a lot. It's a cool track, cool, cause you're a cool track. And uh, you know, like I, you know, like I think about this song before I rake the leaves and I see the wasteland of <laughs> decaying, of decaying osmosis. You know, I've got to rake this town into clean town. This, this, uh, this lawn ain't I big enough for all of us. You know. <laughs> And, uh, you know, so he... Uh, These leaves are going to pay for dirtying up my lawn. <laughs> Damn. Damn, those leaves are, those fucking leaves are going to pay. <laughs> I'm going to rip <laughs> off their head and leaves. shit down their neck. Damn. <laughs> ooh, ooh, mama. So, shake it, baby. All right, that's enough Duke Nukem for one day. <laughs> anyway. Um, any, oh, the Duke Nukem theme. That's Duke a great Nukem. one there, too. Cheap plug for the Duke Nukem theme. That's not a movie. That's a video game. Anywho, um, so yeah, the Trancers theme is fucking awesome. It's probably the best part of all of the Trancer movies combined is the theme song. Wow. Yeah, because most of the movies are really shitty. But first one's okay, and the song is the best part. So, And I think about it all the time. Sometimes I just put it on the background if I'm doing work or whatever. So, Maybe leaves. taking a, taking a dookie. Maybe when I'm taking my Zeus dookie. Damn. Kevbot, what's your Zeus Dookie? <laughs> Mine? Okay, so this was, uh, was a hard one to choose what was going to be. It's hard to squeeze two? this one out. <laughs> or number one. My number two pick. I... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm second guessing. My... Okay, all right. No, it doesn't matter. Number two. Okay. Is uh, Annette Funicello, Jamaica Ska from yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the Beach. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Another fantastic movie. Oh, uh, one of the best. Yeah, great movie, good soundtrack. You got Fishbone. It introduced me to Fishbone when I watched it. Mm. It was around the time of when I was getting into ska music, so it was great. It's catchy. Um, it's got Pee Wee. It's got Pee Wee. Well, the movie's got Pee Wee. Yeah, the movie does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it teaches you how to Jamaica ska, where... Some places it's a required college course. And, you know, because some people cause some people can't cha-cha-cha. Some people That's can't right. do the twist. But everybody can do the ska. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, It's, it's a new dance it's that a goes new like dance this. Y- yeah. Um, and you can't resist. I love how Fishbone just pops out out of nowhere, and it's a dance number. and You can uh, see them hiding. They're just the homeless they- people <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> and... Uh, the lead guy is the saxophone guy. Like he probably snorted a lot of cocaine before going on set. Yeah, I uh, actually saw them Fishbone back in August. They were great. Oh no shit! I saw them. Did we see them together? <clears throat> I saw Au- them at the Palladium. No, not in August, but no, years um, ago. No, I saw them with John um, at the Palladium, but I don't. I do not believe you were there. Because Are I gave him a sure? ride, yeah. Because oh, okay. it was the night, it was the night of our senior prom. Didn't I? Hmm. I didn't go to prom. What the fuck was I doing? I have no idea. John Are was you just sure like, I wasn't there? <laughs> I'm like ninety eight percent sure. All right, I didn't go to prom. Yeah. I know that much. That's anyway, <laughs> it's a good song. <laughs> yeah, it is a good song. Dane, did yeah. you go to senior prom? No, I did not go to senior prom. I none the, of the VHS bandits went to senior the, prom. The, the woman who is actually now my current wife, the I woman. asked, I asked to my senior prom, and she said no. So I did uh. not go to the senior prom. I was probably too. I was probably taking a Zeus Dookie all night for all you know. Wow. Well, Kevbot was doing the Jamaican ska, and I was uh, missing in action. <laughs> I thought you did go to the senior prom, dude. I think nah, I dude. saw pictures of you like wearing a white tuxedo. That was junior prom. Junior prom, oh, not senior prom. And I prom. hated it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I had a bad time. Now, how come you didn't go to senior prom? <laughs> because I hated junior prom. Oh. <laughs> and I don't, Topher, don't dance, boy. Uh-huh. That's, okay. that's the secret is you don't go to any proms. You won't that's get right. disappointed. That's right. Yeah, you all you teenagers do out other there. things like go see Fishbone. Yeah, go see Fishbone instead of going the, to prom. The lead singer was so uh, so drunk that security kicked him off stage. Oh, shit. oh no! Yeah, so they just played instrumental the 
the rest oh. of their set. That, yeah, I it definitely was still wasn't really good. there. I'm not. Gonna I was lie. not there for that. Well, that's still cool. So yeah, so that's my number two pick. Number two. Yeah. How about you, Topher? What's your Zeus Dookie pick? My Zeus Dookie. Uh, so this was a Sounds toss-up, like a too. weird car. A I Zeus keep Dookie. thinking of, hey, like, Deuce I can Bigelow. put you in a brand-new used Zeus Dookie today. Zero <laughs> percent financing at the Auto <laughs> Mile. Like Ernie Bach Jr., Zuzu. come on down. Is, it, is if, a, if a Zuzu and a Suzuki had a baby, it would be the Zeus Dookie. <laughs> a pre- It'd be a like certified a three-door. Pre- pre-owned, one-wheel drive. <laughs> One wheel. Right. It just goes in circles. <laughs> on Route One, on the Auto Mile, down to Ernie Bach Jr. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So mine was a toss up too. Ooh. A toss up too. Uh, it was a toss up Zuki. A toss up um, Zuki. <laughs> uh, do you think any clown has ever juggled turds? <laughs> I'm sure at right? some point. Go to clown college and find out. <laughs> That's that's how you get into clown fraternity. They they hose them or whatever. I don't know what that the the like when they haze rituals you. to get it. Yeah, they haze the haze, not the hose. They haze they, you by hey, you, you, have hoser. To, you have to juggle these dookies. Take off, you hoser. <laughs> if you want to get into clown college, <laughs> now do you think they fru- they freeze the dookie so it doesn't just like run in between your fingers? Do you think they no. have like it they're like it's like fresh. ice balls of dookie and they just. Oh man, I don't know. Oh, that gross. we'll have to do some more research into that. So uh, go to clown boy. college and find out. <laughs> yeah, go to clown college. God, yeah, find out firsthand. That would be a very interesting uh, teen sex comedy. Is uh, sorority clowns? Oh yeah. Oh, God. So, it'd be, it'd so be a cross clown, between that and clown, 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 clown academy. <laughs> clown academy. <laughs> clown academy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of clowns. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so anyway, um, <clears throat> number two pick. It was hard to choose, but my number two is a song. In like, let's let's get serious for a minute, for real. Ooh, this song, serious, like it gets me every time. It's a very, like, it might sound silly, but to it, like, it really tugs at my heartstrings for real. And that song is. Gee, I'm glad it's raining from Ernest Goes to Camp. Gee, I'm glad it's raining. There's always something to be thankful for. I'm awfully glad it's raining. Cause no one sees your teardrops when it pours And no one knows the thunder Is your heartbreak in disguise They think the rainy nights What put that sad look in your eyes Sure I'm glad it's raining The gentle rhythm Soothes the pain inside I'm glad the stars aren't shining A wounded warrior Needs a place to hide I thought I had found someone I could count on Till the end What they wanted Was a hero All I needed was a friend Gee, I'm glad it's raining I hope the morning sun won't come up soon As long as it keeps raining No one knows my heart broke right in two I thought I had found someone I could count on till the end What they wanted was a hero All I needed was a friend Sure, I'm glad it's 
raining I'm awfully glad it's raining I could listen to that portion of the show Yeah guys let's take it down For a minute Put Gee, down your... I'm glad it's raining. I'm gonna hang myself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, drop, it's just drop your juggling dookie balls and get ready to <laughs> yeah, cry get your serious. Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Put those dookie balls down and get serious for a minute, kids. But yeah, I mean, this song is, I don't know, it just gets me every time because Ernest. Especially like early Ernest uh, is one of the most sincere characters. He just wants to do good and he's trying to make everybody happy, but things just keep going bad and get messed up. And and this is the only time like this is from the first Ernest movie and you can tell it's kind of like, well, what? they're still trying to figure out like how does Ernest fit into a feature film and like this is just one of those rare times where he doesn't sing in any other movies but I don't know it just really gives you a window into the soul of Ernest and it mirrors my soul guys you know it's it's that scene where he had just gotten the shit kicked out of him by one of the guys right. in the construction crew and you've always thought of Ernest as just like this goofy young at heart just wacky dude and after he got the shit kicked out of him you finally kind of see like the more human side of him you know like exactly that. and that and then you see because hey uh what they wanted was a hero all he needed was a friend and mm -hmm. uh and it's raining even now. sometimes and warriors need a place to hide so uh yeah that's a that's the saddest part of the movie but then after that we got the song uh brave hearts <laughs> and yeah. they turn the bus into like this Mad Max command commando vehicle and they and they fucking blow up all the <laughs> construction workers. <laughs> yeah, so take that. Fuck you, construction <laughs> workers for making Ernest cry, you assholes. Uh great glad it's raining almost it's gonna list. be raining body parts tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. raining blood. And they next. parachute turtles on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah, yeah that song still gets everyone. me to this day yeah man that that's a that is a tear jerking song Big yeah because uh, honestly the first song that came like all of the like i was thinking about when you told me this and i was like oh i love you know the theme song the opening credits to Ernest scared stupid is a great song oh yeah and then even like the opening credits to Ernest goes to jail but this song has such an impact that it's Unbelievable. If you're an earnest head like me, this song gets you. Absolutely. Number, number, number one from Dating number Train. Number one. All right. So my last pick is from an early 80s BMX exploitation movie. Uh, Lori Laughlin on Becky is in it. Uh, it. It is the movie Rad. And the song that is at the end of the movie, the end credits, called Thun. Whoa, Gazoo Tight. Excuse me. <laughs> the song is called Thunder in Your Heart by John Farnham. Taking a chance, risking it all. For the thrill of the moment Taking a stand You ain't gonna fall And you've always known it They're dying to shake you Trying their best to break you And though the going is well You're going home as a hero Cause there's thunder in your heart Every move
the heart of a lion, taking control, a burning desire, flame never dying. Don't lose the feeling, don't ever stop believing. There's one more moment of truth, and you're gone. Guys, ever seen Rad before? I watched it with you a long time ago oh, in your yeah. basement. Yeah, I got a bootleg DVD because um, I couldn't find it on VHS. Uh, I have the Embassy release and a a copy that was recorded off of HBO in the mid '90s that my folks <laughs> recorded. That might have been the first time I saw it. Actually, oh, was from that copy. That could have been. Yeah. Um. And so it's about this kid. And he's like this BMX enthusiast, and uh, but he's, and he's generally pretty rad. He's pretty rad, you know. <laughs> and he only gets radder as the movie progresses because they're doing a BMX competition in his hometown, and he enters the competition and he wins wearing a T-shirt that says "Crew is rad" because his <laughs> name is Crew. And at the very end of the movie, he wins the race. All is good, and bam, you get the end credits and fucking thunder in your heart plays now the the opening credit song is also by the same guy john farnham called um breaking called break the ice and that song is Ooh. also crazy good but so both of these songs it's not as rad though it's not as rad i think thunder in your heart is where it's at because that just like break the ice and uh and and just like you know i'm a cool dude and the song from steel justice all these songs that are like these like empowering ballads that just like make you want to rake the rest of the leaves even though you're super tired and and it's getting dark out you know it's the songs that just like push you forward and and give you all the motivation that you need to get that last leaf into the spags bag that's, that's right so uh this one uh I, I think the song is the shit um also makes me think of summertime kind of gets me up in the morning gets me jazzed for the day and uh i could listen to this song on repeat forever so uh yeah Thunder in nice. Your Heart from Rad. Song nice. is awesome. Good. All right, there, Kevba. It's time for your number one. Number All one. Right. This song is performed by an Alfred Matthew Yankovic. Whoa. It is UHF from the movie UHF.
Al songs on one podcast. Who would have guessed? It's blowing up. What a country. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the title track to his CD, UHF, as well, which is just the soundtrack. Um, <laughs> perfectly embodies the theme of the movie. Uh, the music video is great parody. It's just him being all these 80s artists, Prince, Billy Idol, um, uh, he's like uh, Peter Gabriel, Gabriel. And, yeah, yeah, everyone, and it's, I love it. Um, it's fun. It's Weird Al, and it's a great movie. And couldn't pick a better number one for myself. Now, why did you pick uh, UHF over Beverly Hillbillies? <laughs> um, Beverly Hillbillies. It's a good song, but I would not rate it. If I'm thinking about just Weird Al songs in general, I would not rate it probably in like my top 10, where I think UHF would definitely be up there. Totally agree. I got to say, like, honestly, the Beverly Hillbillies like music video in the movie, I wish it was for UHF. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that I would be that pretty made cool. more sense. Right. Yeah. Because he's, I mean, he, at that point in the movie, he's so engrossed in – in in building this tv station that's why he he fell asleep because he was burnt out and he was supposed yeah. to go on on a date with his girlfriend terry but i think that would have made more sense if he if he had us if he was dreaming about uhf instead of just this random music video you know because he was yeah. watching beverly hillbillies as a rerun on on his channel on u62 that's right yep but yeah uhf is the superior song yes couldn't VHS agree Bandits more. Opinion. Yes. VHS <laughs> Bandits for UHF. Uh, you know what I do yeah. like a lot that I actually believe it or not gets stuck in my head a lot is there's that song that plays right after uh, Weird Al finds out that he's getting to be the station manager and he's driving up to the station with his girlfriend Terry for the first time and it's just the other members of his band doing like a barbershop quartet going like do 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 oh yeah and somehow that gets song that song gets stuck in my head yeah. all the time just out right of nowhere on. that song just gets stuck in my head all the time yeah so sometimes i think about uh the scene when uh his uncle i forget what his uncle's name was but uncle he's, harvey uh, yeah. Oh, Uncle Harvey. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, in the pool and he gets the uh, gets the phone call. But there's that song going. It's let me be your heart. He's like, <laughs> yeah. uh, baby, 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 baby. He's, he picks up the phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh man, oh, Mr. Man. Bill, check. Your, ra- your horses didn't come in this week. $75,000 cash. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that song oh. is good, too. Yep, yep. <sighs> ah, I love that movie so much. <laughs> uh, don't change gonna, that I'm channel. To don't touch it. that dial. That's right. They oh. got it all on UHF. I uh, I think I'm going to have to rewatch that again. I try to watch it like once a year. Take that ridiculous thing it's about off. time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right, all right. Uh, enough of that it's yeah. your number one number. top of the list n- 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 number one Topher's Whoa. choice <laughs> on the VHS bandits uh, if it was Topher's choice maybe I would have went to the prom whoa Topher's under the sea dance. <laughs> <laughs> you mean uh, I have to go and I have to touch her on her? <laughs> I still wouldn't have gone. Uh, so, uh, my, uh, my, 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 my Sharona. number one choice is from a movie that has a lot of good songs in it. It's Bad Channels, a full moon. Maybe it was Empire. I don't know. It but was, it's full moon. I think it was moon. full moon at that point, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it seems very full moon. Yeah. Um, so it's a full moon movie, Bad Channels. And this is one of the fucking best songs ever written. 
<laughs> uh, so <laughs> so it is Manic Depresso by Psychotic Symphony. Kids, this is the Captain Happy Show starring me, Captain Happy. Let me get out my magic mirror. I see Bobby. I see Susie. I see Billy. <laughs> Psychotic Symphony is spelled with a, an S and a Y, and the same thing for they do, they're spelled wrong because it's the early '90s and it's cool to spell your name wrong. Everybody wanted uh, to be like a Green Jello or Guar ripoff back then. Uh, no, well, no, Psychotic Symphony wanted to be a Mr. Bungle because, uh, yeah. like, so I mean, if you know Mr. Bungle, if you're a Mr. Bungle fan, fucking. Please do yourself a favor and listen to Psychotic Symphony. You can buy their album on iTunes. It's got this song on it, two versions of it, and Ooh. it's still Which available. Which version is huh? in the movie? The uh, actual. There's like a demo version on the album too, gotcha. but this is the studio version. Um, dude, it is so fucking good. It sounds a lot like quote unquote from Mr. Bungle, so it's kind of rip offish e, but I don't know. I don't give a shit. It's fucking awesome. So, I mean, Dane can attest to how excited I was when I first heard this song. And it's this is why. Dude, I was, yeah. when I first brought up the idea, of, when I asked you guys to do this episode, and I was like, please let somebody <laughs> pick Manic Depresso. Please. What I mean, you came it first? Too. This song or your love for Mr. Bungle? Oh, my love for Mr. Bungle was okay. way before I heard. But it's another thing, kind of like the uh, bogus journey, hearing the new Faith No More song that I haven't heard before. So, like, obviously, Mr. Bungle had broken up 
and you know i'd heard everything you know even like the old like the demo tapes and stuff that you can't find and whatever so this was um Dane, why don't you were there when I first experienced? Because you you showed me Dane bad got channels. To watch yeah, um, the so experience. you so I have you, it on tape and yeah. um, uh, so th- so what happens is there's this alien that comes down uh, and invades and takes over a radio station, and he has these little like vials, like these glass vials, and somehow he uses the radio waves and music to shrink hot babes with long butts into these little miniature like Barbie doll sized chicks and he puts them into these glass jars to be like his little collectibles and what happens is when he zeroes in on one of the girls who happens to be listening to the radio station he puts them in this like trance which makes them hallucinate as if they're a part of this fucking music video and then they like gets uh, then they get transformed and turn into these little Barbie dolls into a into a glass jar but uh it's like there's a couple there's like i think there's three of them and in one of them she's like a nurse at a hospital and she's got her head foot her headset on from a walkman and fucking out of nowhere manic depressive just like fucking busts out of a hallway into a hallway in this hospital and they start playing manic depresso so how excited was i in your opinion if you remember that night, because I do. You were I think you were like flipping your shit. You're like, oh my god, these guys are fucking awesome. Who the fuck are these guys? This is great. <laughs> oh man, after the rest, you gotta look through the credits to see who these guys are. Yep. I was <laughs> flipping out on how good this song was. <laughs> and like so in the in the scene, like you said, they the band Psychotic Seventy busts into this like <laughs> mental hospital and they're like Green Jello and Mr. Bungle and Weird Al wrapped into one wacky band. Yeah. They got, like, weird uh, costumes and shit. Yeah, like, the main... There's two lead singers. Uh, One of them is dressed up as, like, a cow, and he kind of looks like the guy from... It looks like if if Mudvayne's lead singer was dressed as a cow. That's what this guy looks like. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) And, and, uh, And then the other lead singer is, like, this dapper squirrel looking fella. And then the yep. uh, the guitarist is a is a nun. Yeah, and I forget what the other. They're just all um, these weird costumes. Yeah, yeah. The, one of them looks like a garbage pail kid, I think. Um, yeah, they're all they're all just like weird, wacky costumes where you can't and see like, their faces. So like, yeah, if the song the song by itself. It could have been a blank screen and I would have flipped a shit. But then these these guys' costumes and like they're doing these goofy dances. Like I mean, I can't show you, but they knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should like put a it, clip on on YouTube or something. Oh I yeah, mean, on for our sure. Instagram. Uh, yeah, um, it's fucking insane how good it is. And it's like weird, like different. It's like different parts of the song are different, like different genres. It's like. Yeah, it's like one part of the guy just like it sounds like weird like circus music. He's like, "I'm so happy all the time." Da, 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 da. Then it goes to like metal, like it's very crazy. lunch. Kevbot, have you yeah. heard this song? Yes, right. uh, a few years ago, and then you put this on there and I on your list, and I was like, "Man, doesn't doesn't ring a bell." But it's the the instant the video started playing it's like yeah i remember this yeah yeah um yeah the, i mean the, i can't say en- enough things about it the album cover art to their album's awesome too yeah it's wacky yeah. i wish there was more music from them but i'm so glad like so after this after this played i was like yeah we gotta watch the credits thing fucking find out who this band is and then we like i like made him like watch a bunch of like youtube videos and like try and track down this yeah. band and everything because there's and not like much about week... them online today you no, can't find a whole lot. lot about them how many albums do they have just just one? this one as far as i could find yeah, yeah just this one wow uh but it's and a great no album. other side projects no other you can't find dude i don't know because you like these guys yeah because they're all like uh like stage names and like you know what i mean so wow. it's hard to track down yeah yeah but yeah that's my number one <laughs> noise i mean you can see how excited i am just talking about it now it was like that times 10 <laughs> i wish they yeah. i don't know if they ever did any other music videos either um, i don't think so any other songs I, I i think there's like some live 
in concert stuff online you can find, but not other yeah. music. And they, this, I think like this, that's this scene from this movie, like is the music video for this song. I think that's it. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. Crazy. So there we go, guys. Whether you're on a desert island or raking leaves in October, uh, those are our top five VHS movie songs. Yeah, I want to throw in the honorable mention. Oh, yeah, sure. you got an honorable mention. Um, the song Rapula oh my from God, the yeah. movie Rockula. Yo, 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 Holmes, what's up, what's up? Oh, not much, you know, I've just been hanging with Yolanda and Dee. Kick it! Whoa. How's that? Yo, that's some kick. Thank you. Jeez, what a weird guy. There was this girl named Mina, she wanted Moina. She was singing back for Ike and Tina. I liked her bangs, she liked my fangs. So we decided to do the crazy Rapula thing. Now her father didn't like it, so we called me a pig. I said, Dr. Van Helsing, here's something you'll dig. We can sing Kumbaya around the campfire. Are you the DJ? No, I'm the vampire. Some aid from the funky fresh Rapula crew. Get to the facts. I don't mean to be lax, but I'd like to hear some of that primarily sax. Get away from that chick, you bloodthirsty monster. Oh, Dr. Van Helsing, I'm a pup of a puncher. I'm not Frankenstein or the Wolfman either. Are you the DJ? I'm the vampire. <laughs> no, no, I said I'm the vampire. You're the vampire? You mean like with, with like tea? Check this out, check this out, check this out. I'm waiting. Hot door, now the story comes to a close. It ain't scary, but it's more like the jam in your toes. Gina, I mean, you moved into my crib. Gee, Mr. Rapula, you're awfully glib. She made me a dish called the Huevos de Rapula, made with garlic and eggs and a gold-plated spatula. You can read the commentary by William Sapphire. He's the DJ. I'm the vampire. I'm the vampire. Vampire. Forget it. Are you dissing me? Forget I'm the vampire. Just forget it. As shitty as that movie is. Yeah, that song's I'm the vampire. Pretty I'm not the DJ. I'm the vampire. <laughs> I just remember. That's like uh, the only song in the movie that's like an actual song of him performing, and it's not a rock song. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's really true. And he doesn't look like a vampire at all. He's just like some no, he's no, no. fucking dude. 90s rapper. He looks like a Burger King Kids Club member. And like he one of the fat does. boys is with him, who I guess is the DJ. I don't know. But, uh, We're not really sure which one is the DJ, but we know which one is the vampire. <laughs> I, That's true. I, I, the only thing you I kind of remember forget. from that song is like, I think the very first line in the song was like, I met a girl named Tina. She wanted to see my wiener. <laughs> like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all that I is, remember that. is that. exactly the opening line. And you have these chicks in the background wearing like body glove, one piece swimsuits, just dancing around. <clears throat> Everyone's wearing their uh, their Reebok or Nike brights or whatever. Yeah, neons. <laughs> yep. The only thing that would have made that part better is if he turned into the little bat creature and sang oh. that song. Oh, my God. That was the only good part of that entire movie <laughs> was when he turned the into the bat only two good guy. parts. Yeah, true. Yeah. <clears throat> so, oh, well. Do you have any honorable mentions, Dane Train? Um... Uh, 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 y- yeah, I, well, yeah, okay. Um, I can come up with more if you want. You know what, dude? I, I We actually kind of popped on it real quick. Another song that I think about a lot uh, that once in a while, sometimes I'll be at work and I'll pop it on, is there's that song from Trick or Treat where Sammy Kerr is shooting fucking lasers at the audience at the Halloween party <laughs> in the gym. Where he's like, 
He's like, rock and roll, something, something, midnight, steal your soul. Dun, 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 dun. And there's a part of the song, I think the song is called Trick or Treat. I don't know, but he says, it's a trick or treat in it. Um, but who, I think, I forgot, like, I think, like, the lead singer from Winger or, like, an actual. So like an actual band, I think played the song, and they and the guy who played Sammy Kerr just like lip synced to it during the movie. I think um, great movie, but that song, I think about that song all the fucking time, whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, that song is fucking great. Um, how about you, T Man? Any any honorable mentions from you? Yeah, another. So my honorable mention is a song from a movie we did on the podcast. Uh, Lost in Dinosaur World. Oh. It's the, I, I went looking for this song. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Uh, I did, you yeah. Did. Oh, my God. Brontosaurus Burger. Yeah, I don't oh. know what the name of it is, <laughs> but, but it's the scene where they are at the uh so it's these the kids. cafe yeah they're at the cafe uh it's basically a jurassic park but nice kind of, you know shit hasn't gone down and uh and the like the all the cafeteria workers are like singing it's just a a song about the menu at the uh, <laughs> at dinosaur world you can get a crustaceous the- croissant <laughs> Sefi Pakalosaurus soup. And then this uh, awesome too. It's so good. It's so good. I think it's at the end of the episode we did on it. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure at the very end, I think we played that song. So go back and listen to our Lost in Dinosaur World episode and go to the, go to the very end and you'll hear the song. It's so good. <laughs> Is that where if the you kid can... eats the Brontosaurus burger and he like he ate it like in one balloons up it blows up the size of it yeah yeah he the he becomes the brontosaurus burger (laughs) yes so then his like grandpa is like (laughs) (laughs) that's a good honorable mention yeah yeah that that song sticks with you (laughs) somewhat related (laughs) what uh, somewhat related question for you guys was there a song in adventures in dinosaur city uh yes um yeah the, it's, the theme it's, song to the cartoon is very good yeah oh, okay. it it's kind of sounds like the dinosaurs beginning. yeah and the kids like have this like goofy little Ooh, like chugga, chugga, yeah chugga, yeah that's chugga, what chugga, I remember chugga. it kind of sounds like the opener to the actual famous song from the eighties do the dinosaur so it's like boom boom like a like a boom boom it's kind of like that right? yeah 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 I forgot what their little stupid dance was but they do like a stupid little dance like yeah, to they, the song they just like jerk off two dicks on either side of the <laughs> oh body, that's what it was what right it yeah yeah <laughs> phantom uh, dicks phantom phantom dicks, dicks. <laughs> not Secret not penises. not phantom us <laughs> yeah. Secret penis. <laughs> Secret penises. <laughs> cool. Oh man! All right. Well, that was th- those were our top lists, guys. That was a lot of fun. Wow. I'm glad we did that. Shared some fun I insight. Think, yeah, I think this was, our uh, our list definitely. I think served us well. Like if you like, if we showed these lists not knowing whose they were, we could easily say, Oh, this is Dane's list. This oh, is Ken yeah, list. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Without a doubt. And I, I think in a way it kind of shows that, you know, uh, a big part of why we love tapes and collecting these, these old tapes is because of a big part of it is, are the songs, it, you know, the, everybody loves the cover art or the movie themselves, but, um, certain little things about these movies are some of the things that we take away from it the most. You know what I mean? Right. It's yeah. like, it's like I'm saying like Trancers isn't that great of a movie, but the song, like I fucking love the song or Jason takes Manhattan. Isn't a great movie, but I <laughs> right, love yeah. the song. You know what I mean? So, but it's your second favorite Friday movie because of the song, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's stuff like that, that, you know, it, people, people appreciate movies for different things. And, uh, and, Sometimes it's 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 a soundtrack that makes a movie or a certain song that makes a movie to you. So right. um, I think that it's a very uh, – I think it's just kind of cool that we could kind of share why we like some of these movies so much just because of the songs you know, or, or but, what about them we like. So Let me ask you, you know. this, and this might not even specifically pertain to VHS tapes, but when you guys are watching a movie, does soundtracks play a big part in you liking that movie? Oh, absolutely. I'd say so, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, for me specifically today, like there's so 
many movies that have forgettable soundtracks or even in games like for instance as topical as it's going to be the new resident evil game just came out like two two or three weeks ago you guys played the new resident evil game yet i'm sorry the new resident evil 2 the remake not yet no i haven't played resident evil game since the original oh, resident evil oh, 2 oh wild okay um since resident evil evil uh, I I love Two. Resident Evil 2. I have it for my N64. Um, I'm fucking in love with that game. And the soundtrack, and you'll talk to a lot of other people that love the game, the soundtrack is so iconic and so memorable to that game. And when they did the remake, um, they kind of sort of used some of the music, but they twisted it so much that it's no longer memorable. And I can say the same thing about the new Doom game, where... The old Doom soundtrack to the old oh. original Doom game is so memorable, and the new game is just. Dude, I love the new Doom soundtrack. Do you play I it when you rake it. leaves on October? I do. I've listened to it recently, oh, several really? times over. Oh, yeah, man. man, I love the new Doom soundtrack. It, to, it, to me, it's just like it's just forgettable. It's fluff. I don't know. Um, wow. But okay, Hot but takes. but that's 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 video games. Um, in movies too, it's the same thing. Like, um, uh, like I think I've probably mentioned on the show before a, a movie that or a couple of movies that I really dug in the last couple of years that came out was I loved Ex Machina, I loved Beyond the Black Rainbow, and the new kind of Manos Cosmato movie Mandy, because they all had very memorable soundtracks. Yeah, Man- no. Mandy's probably one of my favorite Barry Manilow songs. <laughs> Barry Manilow. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but you know the the score, the score. Um, oh yeah, yeah the, the score. score. The score yes. is very yes, memorable. Yes, yes. The score know? is very good. Yeah, um, if we're talking about recent recent soundtracks, um, if you guys haven't heard uh, the soundtrack to or seen the movie Baby Driver, I haven't seen that- it. I heard it's really good. It is. Uh, Edgar Wright is the director. Did Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, uh, Scott Pilgrim. Uh, he apparently made that movie or was writing that movie um, for years. And the soundtrack is such an integral part that you know scenes take place and they're taking they're happening at the tempo of the song that's playing. Oh shit! So it's yeah, it's really cool. Wow, that's and it's awesome. a, and it's a great soundtrack. Cool. Mm-hmm. Very neat. Very neat. All right. Fun action movie. So cool. Cool. Yeah. So all right. Well, I mean, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. What do you guys say? Yeah. Cool. Sure. If anybody out there, any bandits listening, want to share your top five with us, uh, where can you? Too where, bad. <laughs> <laughs> tough titties. <laughs> <laughs> um, how can go, uh, <laughs> go find some BBDs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do some dialogue and get them the BBDs. Uh, so, if anybody wants to get in touch with us and share their top five, where can they get in touch with us, guys? Email the yeah. VHS Bandits at gmail dot com. <laughs> yep. Or you can find us on Instagram at, at VHS, VHS Bandits. Bandits. Wait, we all said that at the same time. Yeah, at VHS Bandits. There same thing with Twitter. I think Twitter is at the VHS Bandits. Yeah, I think you so. You can find us one way or another on Twitter. Yeah. And <laughs> find us on like Instagram. We don't page. really use Twitter. That's right. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to the episode of the series that you're currently listening to, which somehow you found us. Yeah. But we're available on all your uh, your favorite uh, podcast listening uh, d- applications. D- 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 yeah. I was going to say also, devices, but it's whatever. Listen and subscribe to Rassle Flicks. Yeah, cheap plug. Cheap plug. Check us out. We got one, maybe two episodes up at the moment, depending on when this goes up. But we got a lot more coming. And it's good stuff, guys. If you like this show, you're going to love that show. That's hey, true. Thanks. And if you don't, we'll give you a pile driver to the face. Yeah, go juggle some dookies, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, cool. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. I love it. Thank you guys for listening so much to this episode. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm the Kevbot. Happy to have you, also Kev. Also always here is, when do you guys go? Uh, Dane Train. Second Dane Train. How about you, T-Man third? 
Third is me. You already said it. Topher Hansen. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys are both number one on the top of my VHS Bandits All list. All right, I will uh, rake Lee's with both of you guys any day. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, as always, guys, be kind and rewind. Or if you're listening on cassette, you can flip it over now. <laughs>